Hello to all students, parents and guardians. What a difficult term we have all faced with the ongoing challenges and uncertainty COVID continues to cause, resulting in extended lockdown periods and continued remote learning for all of our students. Can I thank and continue to encourage all students for their continued effort in employing themselves as best as they possibly can uh, to their ongoing studies. I know that our student motivation levels varies from day to day and week to week, as do ours as adults, but this is normal and understood by all staff at the college. Parents, you know what's best for your child during these times, when to push and when to cut them some slack. I'm having the same challenges in my own home. For those that are doing it a little bit tougher than others, I reinforce to you all, place well-being and safety above all else. Their educational needs come second to keeping them positive and happy in these challenging times. We have many students on modified curriculum programs as requested by families to support and cater for them better. There is great support and guidance around the college if required. Please just email or call any of the college leaders or email me directly. Can I please take a moment to recognise the amazing staff at the college that uh, are working extended hours in front of their screens to support, guide, care and engage with their classes collectively, in small groups and individually. Our educational support staff are also providing incredible individual support to identified students. I'm extremely proud to lead the quality of staff we have at the college and know they are all willing to go well above and beyond to support you and your children. To all parents and guardians, thank you for all the positive emails you are sending your child's teachers. They are certainly well received. Please keep them coming. You are doing an amazing job supporting the educational needs of your children on top of all the other duties you have. Please remember to be kind to yourself and stay positive. We will get through this and your children will continue to thrive in all their own special ways. On a positive note, NAPLAN data was recently released showing Victoria was the leading state in all categories and year levels of literacy and numeracy compared to other states. This is extremely powerful data considering the number of days Victorians did remotely compared to any other state last year. This is an indicator of the quality of teaching that was still conducted and the level of learning and growth students had during 2020. I share this with you as a sign of hope that our children, your, uh, so our students, your children are still developing, growing and learning just differently than how we did. The one thing I am unwavering on for our students is the continued planning of staff of key events that provide additional learning opportunities that develop deeper levels of learning for our students both in and outside of the school grounds that can be implemented when restrictions are lowered and on-site learning and community movement is safe and allowed again. Many significant events and opportunities have been stripped back, cancelled or postponed over the past 18 months, which is extremely disappointing but I am committed to reinstating them where possible to assist in bringing joy back into our college. Can I finish by wishing our Year 12 students the best of luck over the coming weeks? I know this is certainly not how any of you or your teachers would prefer to complete the final full year of your 13 year educational journey. So to all of our Year 12 students uh, that are completing their final coursework and SACs prior to commencing your exam preparations, good luck and best wishes. Happy Father's Day to all dads on Sunday week, the 5th of September. I've seen many catalogues filling my letterbox lately, so all students, please make sure you are asking dad what new toy he would like so you can get your online orders in. Stay safe and well. We certainly hope to see you soon.